welcome to the cat dlr 100 series in case you haven't subscribed to our channel do hit the subscribe button uh, we'll be looking at the first case now and this is a cat case and this is one of the easiest cases which actually turned up in the this particular paper right looking at a case like this we will tend to generally move away from it uh, the reasons being that it's a little non-standard a typical dlr case we would have a short write-up and then a few clues there are no clues really over here um, so what are the reasons why we should take up a case like this uh, one is it's a story right which is given over here typically when you don't have a short introduction followed by clues uh, which are numbered you, you're going to have a story given to you uh, you need to understand the story uh, there are no big numbers given over there uh, something with respect to time and some few very few items given over here and the questions over here um, look like you know again they all have options and they have time over there and um, two of them little more information given and then the simple uh, the question is quite simple at what time is the order placed by client one or by client three right so this is a case you should definitely look to attempt in the exam right uh, probably give it a try for about five minutes and if it's going nowhere then yes uh, let go of it right so let's get into the case now healthy bites is a fast food joint serving three items burgers fries and ice cream okay it has two employees anish and bani who prepare the items ordered by the clients immediately just imagine that you're the manager and you have people at your disposal who are they anish and uh, bani over here okay and uh, what else is given preparation time is 10 minutes for a burger and two minutes for an order of ice cream all right so short notes over here so burger is going to take us 10 minutes to prepare and an ice cream over here is going to take us two minutes to prepare that's quite quick okay an employee can prepare only one of these items at a time that is if some person is on if anish is on burger then bani can be on ice cream and that's it right the same person can't be doing two at the same time all right uh, the fries are prepared um, in an automatic fryer which can prepare up to three portions of fries at a time and takes five minutes okay so for fries it's slightly different it you can have three portions prepared at the same time and it takes five minutes and how or who is going to do that that's in an automatic fryer over here okay the fryer does not need an employee to constantly attend to it and we can ignore the time taken by an employee to start and stop the fryer thus an employee can be engaged in preparing other items while the frying is on right there's a lot of explanation on the frying process of the fry, fries and the automatic fryer all that is being said over here is we actually have three people working right or rather two people anish and bani and the third being the fryer which is an automatic fryer a person need not be operating the fryer when it is frying the fries right so technically there are three people anish bani and the fryer now however fries cannot be prepared in anticipation of future orders so only when an order comes in you can start preparing the fries right so this is the story we need to visualize we need to understand and put yourself in the shoes of the manager with three people at your disposal two people and the automatic fryer to service any order okay healthy bites wishes to service the orders as early as possible the individual items in any order are served as and when ready okay moment it's ready it's served okay however the order is considered to be completely served only when all the items of that order are served okay fine so all the items have to be served for the order to be rendered uh, served okay um, the table below gives the orders of three clients and uh, the times at which they are placed okay so you have some times and you have some um, uh, the the items ordered as well okay so it's just three three clients and that's it it's a short case right so what are the questions over here assume that only one client's order can be processed at any given point of time so anish or bani cannot start preparing a new order while a previous order is being prepared so only one order at a time if the first one is being prepared the second one cannot be prepared and we have a question at what time is the order placed by client one completely served okay uh, the same write-up as the first one assume that only one client's order so on and so forth at what time is the order placed by client three completely served that's it these are simple straightforward questions given that you have three people at your disposal form a structure like this right three people i'm calling the fryer a person as well right look at it that way anish bani and the fryer the first order comes in at 10 o'clock right and the burger has to be prepared an ice cream has to be prepared let's put anish on the burger you're the manager right you can decide who's going to work on boat uh, on what 
right let's say anish is preparing the first uh, burger and the one burger of client one is going to be uh, taking 10 minutes at 10 o'clock if the person starts the order is completed at 10 10 what about bani bani gets on with the ice cream right the one ice cream um, and that gets done at 10 2 right two minutes after 10 o'clock over here and what about the fryer over here there are three portions of fries ordered three fries over here and the three fries it's going to take five minutes from 10 o'clock and that's going to be 10 5 right so 10 5 and the first order is complete right this order is complete when the last item is done right that's what it says when all the items of that order are served so therefore at 10 10 the order is done next order although the client comes in at 10 5 the order can be started only when the previous order is complete at 10 10 right so at 10 10 uh, now one order of ice cream and two portions of fries so we have two fries right two fries it still takes the same time right it still takes five minutes five minutes from when from 10 10 right from 10 10 so it's done at 10 15 the so one ice cream we can get um, anybody right anish or bani uh, just one ice cream over there and that's going to be done at starting at 10 10 it gets done at 10 12 but once again this order is completely served that's what this says right that any client's order can be processed only when the previous person is done there is only one client's order can be processed at any given point of time the next person although the person comes at 10 7 till 10 15 client 2 is being served so 10 15 onwards is when the next one can be done um, so what, what's given here so we have um, one burger and one portion of fries it's just one fries over here right it still takes five minutes starting at 10 15 gets done at 10 20 and this one uh, we can get Anish to work on the burger right and what is that starting at 10 15 over here right it takes 10 minutes for the burger and it gets done at 10 25 now once again some of you might be wondering if it's two fries or one fries if it's fewer fries does it mean that you know it can be done in less than five minutes it's clearly given over here the fries are prepared in an automatic fryer which can prepare up to three portions of fries at a time and takes five minutes irrespective of the number of portions whether it's three portions or two portions it's going to take that much time so clearly you cannot prepare fries in advance right you can it cannot be prepared in anticipation of future orders only when an order is started you have to prepare whether it's three two or one it's still going to take five minutes right that's what it says irrespective of the number of portions it takes five minutes please remember that so let's move to the questions now the first and second questions are very similar right very similar over here uh, at what time is the order placed by client one completely served uh, client one order is completely served where if underlined 10 10 right option two is the correct answer at what time is the order placed by client three completely served client 3 10 20 or 10 25 the later time right option three over here is the correct answer now we have some additional information for the third and fourth questions which are different from the first and second the third and fourth right the first paragraph says suppose the employees are allowed to process multiple orders at a time but the preference would be to finish orders of clients who place their orders earlier that means bani over here who's free at 10 2 could have started the ice cream you know preparation of the ice cream at 10 5 for client 2 right need not wait for the entire order to be completely served so uh, orders i mean whoever is free can start working on different orders as well uh, provided there are enough people working on the the previous client's order right uh, for this particular one the question is at what time is the order placed by client two completely served and then a fourth question over here assume also assume that the fourth client came in only at 10 35 oh very late so between 10 and 10 30 for how many minutes is exactly one of the employees idle exactly one of the employees not both not none exactly one we have to be careful of the wordings here so let's start with this right so for this set of questions third and fourth right so third and fourth uh, we have to do it slightly differently over here the first client's orders are fine right uh, at 10 o'clock the person comes in anish works on the first burger bani and the ice cream at 10 to it's done fryer over here right so fries uh, are done at 10 5 now client 2 comes in at 10 5 right when the client 2 comes in at 10 5 the fryer can operate right the fryer fryer can operate on the fries 
immediately at 10.5 because it's it's done at 10.5, it's, 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 it's fine, right? So at 10.5, if the price can be made for client 2, it gets done at 10.10, 10, right? Because it takes 5 minutes over here. Now, what about the ice cream? The ice cream, I wouldn't want Anish to do because Anish is occupied till 10.10. 10. The client has come in at 10.5. Bani is free because by 10.2 is done with the ice cream for client 1. So Bani can work on this ice cream over here. And starting at 10.5, in 2 minutes, gets done with the ice cream. At 10.7, Bani is done with the ice cream, right? So once again, I'm the manager. I can assign whoever I want to, whatever item, right? Now, client 3 over here comes in at 10.7. And I want the burger to be prepared. Who's free at 10.7? At 10.7, Bani is free. So I'll assign the burger for Bani instead of Anish. And then starting at 10.7, will get done with it by 10.17 in 10 minutes time, right? And what about the fryer? The fryer is free at 10.10. 10. The client comes in at 10.7. The one fries can start only at 10.10 10 and will get done at 10.15, right? 10.7, the client comes in, that's fine, but the fryer, the fryer is occupied till 10.10. 10. So five minutes after 10.10 10 and 10.15, the fryer completes the process. Now, this is it. Uh, we can answer the third and fourth now. The third one, at what time is the order placed by client 2 completely served? 10.7 or 10.10, 10, the later time, which is 10.10. 10. Option 1 is the correct answer here. Now on to the fourth question. Also assume that the fourth client came in only at 10.35, right? That's quite late. So we're not worried about that. Um, between 10 and 10.30, for how many minutes is exactly one of the employees idle? Uh, so for, for, for this, I would... I would prefer drawing a, uh, a sort of a number line over here, right? Um, so a short number line for us to have an understanding of this. Anish over here is occupied from 10 to, let's say this is 10.10. 10. Anish is occupied over here, okay? Now what about Bani? Bani is going to be occupied from 10 to 10.2, 10 okay? A short line over there. And then from 10.5 to 10.7, okay? 10.5 to 10.7 and then from 10.7 to 10.17, right? So this goes on till 10.17, okay? Now 10.17, uh, both are idle after that, right? So we don't care about it. Now this over here was from 10 to 10.2, right? Two minutes. Now when did, when did Barney start working again? It's 10.05 right 1005 over here 105 to 107 this and then 107 to 1017 continues with the burger right so therefore exactly one employee is in this stretch over here this stretch where only anish is working also in this stretch over here where only bani is working right uh, the bottom line over here is that of anish the top one is that of bani first 2 minutes with the ice cream and then 105 to 107 and then 10.7 to 10.17 with the burger. So that's a continuous work over there for Bani. So the first tick over here, 10.2 to 10.5, that's three minutes. And 10.10 10 to 10.17 when Bani completes the burger over there, that's going to be 10.10 10 to 10.17, that's seven minutes. So three plus seven, right, that comes to 10. So for 10 minutes, exactly one of the employees is idle. So this is a short case and an easy one and this is a case you should not miss out on the exams.